Hello, I am Girl Barzar, filling in for QDragon1337, and this is Brainstorm. Our top story comes from the world of physics. Now, the story everyone is talking about is the fact that antimatter has been captured for about 16 minutes. But here at Brainstorm, we like to highlight some of the less known stories. An international team of researchers appear to have confirmed the idea that a vacuum actually contains a small amount of energy, or virtual particles. According to quantum physics, it should be possible to push these virtual particles into reality with something like a quickly wobbling mirror. However, the mirror wouldn't have been practical, as the mirror would need to wobble at a significant fraction of light speed. So instead, the team simply exposed a loop of metal to a rapidly fluctuating magnetic field. With the loop wobbling at around 5% light speed, the researchers observed photons created from virtually nothing. Our next story comes from the world of biotechnology, where researchers at Northwestern University have developed a new method for deploying gene therapy. Their new method involves tiny pods made entirely from nucleic acids, which allows for the delivery of DNA and RNA without the need for an additional agent to carry them. This is important because current gene therapy carriers have a certain toxicity associated with them. But these nucleic acid pods, which naturally trigger their absorption into the cell, seem to overcome many of these issues. Most applications for this technology are in medicine, such as treating certain cancers, accelerating regeneration, and treating some genetically linked diseases. Speaking of medicine, scientists at Temple University are investigating use of magnetic fields to thin blood. When exposed to a strong enough magnetic field, the iron in red blood cells causes them to form tiny chains. These chains tend to travel down the middle of blood vessels, resulting in less friction and an overall reduction in blood viscosity. After the magnetic field is removed, the blood returns to its original viscosity over several hours. The scientists studying this hope it would replace drug-based blood thinning, as it has several benefits, such as lack of side effects so far and repeatability. And our final story comes from the world of nanotechnology. Researchers at Virginia Commonwealth University have discovered magnetic superatoms. These superatoms, which are actually clusters of several atoms, are interesting because while consisting mostly of magnesium, they are magnetic, whereas magnesium is not normally magnetic. This new property is due to a single iron atom in the center of the cluster, which appears to donate its magnetism to the entire group. This unique combination of iron's magnetic properties with magnesium's conductive properties could lead to breakthroughs in molecular computing, as could similar superatoms yet to be discovered. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Brainstorm. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing, and be sure to check the links in the video description below.